prepare yourself to die. When I refer to this sentence, I am, of course, speaking about the separated sense of self, the ego, the false beliefs you hold about yourself, which are a movement towards the past. And the question is, are you truly willing to die? Are you truly willing to merge with God's essence? You need to disidentify from the ideas you have about yourself. And somehow live in harmony with your true self. Which is permanent which is the unchanging, formless, timeless. Which is now. Because peace arises with the absence of somebody. There is no peacekeeper that holds the truth somehow. And there is something about you, about me, that's the same now as it ever was. What is it? At the end of the day, there is a collective shift happening. We notice more and more individuals seeking God, seeking the truth, inquiring within themselves. And you are meant to awaken, we all are, because there is this interconnectedness with each of us. We are not separated as the ego believes. You have to perceive beyond the illusion. Beyond Maya. If you wipe away the filter of the mind, you could perceive things with clarity. The ego needs to fade away and somehow make room for your true being. If you continue living from the egoic perspective, dissatisfaction, conflict, misery, selfishness, existential anxiety will persist. You deserve to wake up. Run right now. Not in the future, now. And recognize the source to remember what you fundamentally are in essence. Awareness itself, God's essence, pure consciousness, the divine presence. You can call it whatever you like. <laughs> Open yourself to what you are and somehow gradually the character will dissolve and merge with your presence. And after this recognition, everything will be perceived from what you are. It's like everything is perceived from awareness itself and you'll see 
your sense in every false. It's not something understandable by the mind, by the finite mind. But it's a profound realization. Because right now, when you look at my eyes, behind my eyes there is something that you are sharing with me. We all share that. There is something here. With this intuitive, I exist. I am here right now. I am aware, I am conscious. I am alive. I can perceive things. And the seemingly separated sense of self is indeed an illusion, a very strong illusion, which is composed of the process of body-mind conditioning with this strong attachment, with this physical body and the activity of the mind, which somehow strengthens the illusion. And initially, when we hear about this process, it sounds, I would say, logical, because our society is somehow conditioned by the perspective of logic and rationality. But when awakening occurs, you notice that everything was a huge, huge joke. <laughs> That's what happened to me. When I had this first shift, I was, oh, okay, I get it, I get it. I am not, I am not what I thought about myself. <laughs> it was, it was okay. Everything was a big lie. <laughs> I have been lied to. <laughs> so I died somehow, and it's your turn to die. I want to add something. Tonight, when you go to sleep, there is no dynamic individual consciousness. There is no I. There is no thinking. So every night we actually die, mentally and psychologically. However, something remains. Awareness remains. Because awareness doesn't come and go. Awareness is always. It's stable. So the question is, what prevents you from awakening to that? Awareness itself. Because within you, there is this sacredness of silence. And you would tell me, oh, I can't because I have this whirlpool of thought, all this activity of the mind that is so tense within me. But it's okay. It's okay because they are not you. They arise somehow within you. So you can say hi to thoughts. It's okay. <laughs> they are simply thoughts, simply inner manifestations. So, so remain silent. Observe. Don't cling to them. Let them come. Let them stay. Let them go. Without attachment. And you can overcome to that silence. You can overcome now. Not in a better future. Now.
awoken to this sacredness of silence. And you can feel it. It goes beyond the form. When you close your eyes, you can feel it. There is no contours to what you are fundamentally. You are abundant, illimited, infinite. In the direct experience, you can feel it. Try it, close your eyes, feel it with me. If you remove this physical body image, there is simply sensations. There is this space, empty space, which is aware, conscious. infinite, centerless, and it's you. <laughs> Much love.